What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I got, well we got a new truck, I got a new truck. Obviously it's a Ford. You can fit, you know, huge body gaps on it. I can fit my thumb in there between the hood and the thing. Typical Ford. It's already been in the shop one time. It's going back to mess it up. Well, be excited. You'll have at least 20,000 miles on it before you got to get a new truck. Yeah, right? You guys, this is the uh, 2020 Super Duty. It's a Lariat with the sport package. That's why it's all blacked out. It's pretty loaded. So far, I love it, even though it's been to the hospital a few times. It'll always be in the Ford hospital. But the coolest thing about this new truck is something that I've had in my old trucks, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Do you know what it is, Eric? I do know what it is because I actually helped put part of it together. Ready, guys? The first thing I did, I had that white truck, you know, I had that toolbox back there. This truck's more of like a classier looking truck, so I'm like, ah, I don't really want that toolbox. But I have a ton of stuff to carry around. I don't want to keep it in the cab, right? So what did I do? Boom! We got a deck system, you guys. This is my third deck system. I had it in my 2011 uh, uh, steel F-150. I had it in my 2015 aluminum F-150. And now I just got one for the Super Duty. They do have it for all different kinds of vehicles. There's tons of uh, things that you can do with this. Um, you know, we'll get into that in a little bit. But I'll just show you the basics real fast. It's a polycarbonate or whatever, however they call it system so you know it's not going to like degrade over time uh it's still in gate steel ribs go through it so it's really strong you could put as much as you can fit in your pickup bed on this right and that's the only downside to this is you do lose this you know one and a half two feet right here of space right so why are you laughing well because the good thing is if you find like a really good high-tech tv like that one over there yeah, can you can home. still put it up top up here and you still have room to cruise around right right so you guys, that TV is amazing. I haven't seen one of those for like years. It's crazy. Think about it, you guys. Your bed, you know, a lot of people use pickup truck beds, you know, to haul things around, but then they need the extra storage. You have very few options. You have a deck system. You have a tonneau cover system, right, which makes it even smaller, I think. Uh, and then you have uh, one of those roll-on systems or a backflip top. I had a backflip. Or a cap too. Or a cap. You know, it just depends. To me, this is the easiest because I can still technically fit whatever I was going to fit there before in there. It's just higher up. I just have to strap it. That's all. Um, so what does the deck do? You guys, it's got these drawers on it. And they roll on like rollerblade wheels. They are so smooth. Look. I mean, that this thing is loaded heavy. If you want to come over here, Eric. And what's good about this whole system is if it's empty or it's loaded down, it still rolls out smoothly. Which yeah. Like, you're never fighting it. No, exactly. I love it, man. Um, it is water weatherproof, too. I mean, you could go through car wash, rain, you're not going to get it wet. If you get creative with a pressure washer and start sticking it in crevices, you might see some water. Um, so, you guys, I do a lot of towing with this truck. Uh, with the deck, I wanted all my tools, my straps, my chains to be in here. So, if you look towards the very back, it only pulls out this far. So, I can't really access this stuff too well. So, I put big, heavy stuff back there that I just reach in and pull forward, right? When I start coming up to this end, middle end of the drawers, you can get these toolboxes that it comes with. Now, right? you never had those before, right? Uh, I had one like this big one up here, but it was okay. blue. Um, but honestly, I like these colors better, you know? I feel like those are actually, they're not cheap. Like, no. They're, they're good quality. They're like, good quality. Open one up. Let's see the yeah. underneath. So the cool like thing, if you look at the lid, look at the lid. Yeah, you know it's got all those ribs in there. Yeah, it's waterproof, so you can carry camera stuff in here, electronics. If you're a hunter, all your guns can go in one, and your ammo and stuff can go in this other one, right? So that's the beauty of the deck. I mean, it's just making your truck more organized. What do you keep looking at the TV? Oh yeah, no, I was just yeah. Oh, um, so obviously I keep my tools in here, right? These just go down in there, and they fit. You're good when you want to close it. There's a little lock there, so it doesn't move back and forth, but when you want to close it, you just overcome that. Yeah, I nice mean, that is. it's that simple, you guys, that simple. Back here, if you like to drink, you can pop off your top here. And who doesn't like to drink? Who doesn't like honest. to drink? If you're using your tailgate as a uh, to cut some wood, you're a handyman doing projects, you have a uh, tape measure up here. You also have conversions and screw and diameter sizes. So, I mean, that's really good. I don't know. I feel like I saw somewhere that they offer one for fishing, but don't quote me. Maybe that was my idea. I don't know. It was just, I thought I saw something that was fishing. Like you can actually do something with fishing, but. Well, I mean, you still got that measurement measure thing, you know, yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Um, next drawer, you guys, kind of the same scenario. I got some heavy straps back there. I got my ball hitch back there. I got a tool set here. In here, I have all my, uh, I'm just starting to fill this one. I don't think it's full yet, but I'm putting other tools in here. Um, and it fits right in there real nice. 
And the crazy thing is, you guys, is right here they got these little pouches. Someone was coming flying at us, man. They, they stopped. Um, and the, you know, just this is the quick stuff I want. So when I'm hooking up a trailer, oh, it's night. Boom, I can whip out my light, turn it on, and go to town, right? Uh, and the other one was the impact. I got my tree saw here. I got a charger in case I got to charge it. Go to close it. So we have those storage areas too, right? Also, where I could store rope, chain, all kinds of stuff is what they call the ammo boxes, right? This is an ammo box. So as you can see inside, if you do have a cap, you don't have to drill holes in here. But I drilled holes in here because this will get wet inside, okay? It's not weatherproof. I mean, it's honestly... It's hard for water to get in there, though. Dude, it is. It is. If rainstorms, I never see water yeah. get in there. When I, I go through the car lip, wash, possibly. Yeah. But that's the only chance that I'm seeing uh, going through the car wash. So right here, again, look at that. You have those dividers that you can remove too. Yeah, that my old one, my old deck had these dividers in the actual system. I think this is way better. I think this is way yes. better. And I mean, I'm like this. I'm not the super uber organized guy. I don't like the tray on top. I always throw that tray away usually. I'm using it this time. But in here, you know, boom, all my screwdrivers, all well, my wrenches, all my sockets. You got a forge, so you're going to need it because you're going to have to easy access to get underneath the hood all the time. So you're going to have to bring that whole thing over to the front of the engine. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I should just hook a tow truck to the front. Uh, easy, <laughs> easy to close. <laughs> yeah, buy a Ford, get a free tow truck. Uh, the thing I like about it is right here with this, these. Uh, marks are you just push and it locks right so um but yeah that's about it you got two ammo cans up front also you guys uh i still can't access my bad lights with the button here what do you like with buy a ford get a free tow truck get a free tow truck <laughs> buy a ford get a tow truck um right here i'm st still able to access these they do have a cargo system that goes across the top i think it's called core decor or something um which uses uh, an aircraft style cargo system, meaning there's just this long rack and you use these little tab things that go on there with rings. You... Get up and jump on top of that. Like move the box, see if it flexes at all. It does, I think. No. no. So, I mean, I think it does in certain areas if you get on it, but like I said, you guys, you're utilizing the same amount as your deck. Uh, you could use this with a spray and bed liner. As you can see, I got the Ford spray and bed liner right now. I totally recommend the Linex. You guys call the guys at Great Lake Linex because the Ford bed liner just sucks. It's horrible. I could rip it out literally with my hands. And that's what was happening because you have to take off the front brackets here to put this deck system in. And in the front brackets, uh, literally, I was trying to cut really nicely, but the stuff was just peeling off like. Nobody's the reason why you never want to get the factory optioned bed liner. All it is is just sprayed over. That's it. So if you have to repair it, I mean, it's a nightmare. Linex, this would all be adhered. And also, this wouldn't be sprayed over if this was a Linex. So it can't fit in there. If you have a removable bed liner, you're going to have to remove that, right? And the carpeting systems, I don't think fit. As far as installation goes, I did it myself. What is it? About three hours? Yeah, but it's not like you were going full, you know what I mean? You are messing right, around. Right, yeah, we were messing around. We stopped around, we and ate, ate lunch, and all that, yeah. so. But, I mean, you know, just take your time putting it together. They have videos. I would recommend watching the videos. If you don't watch the videos, you're going to have a crazy time trying to figure things out. Uh, also, you can get an upgraded lock kit so you can lock them. I don't need to on this vehicle because the tailgate locks. If the tailgate locks, no one's getting in here. Right? There is a good 8 inches gap here when the tailgate's closed. Um... And you can't fit a gas can in there, but you know you can fit in there a roto pack. What's a roto pack? Um, they're like the things you put on jeeps that hold water and gas. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually almost positive you could fit a couple of those in here. Yeah, those thin ones you have definitely. Yeah. So if you're running gas, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean the great thing about it, this is the greatest thing right here is just when you close it up, you don't even know it's there, right? If someone's gonna break into this, the only thing they're doing is they're gonna have to try to get this tailgate off. Even if they try to cut through the top, I mean, it's not going to work, man, because there's steel bars, reinforced bars in there, metal. It might be aluminum, I don't know, but, I mean, and, it, oh, another thing <laughs> it's about... It's a Ford, I'm sure that tailgate comes off pretty easy. Yeah. Another thing about this, which is awesome, is the weight, right? Because these Super Duties are, like, unsprung, right? Because they, they're designed to take a lot of weight. So driving around town, you're bouncing everywhere. By putting this in, loading it up, I'm getting that weight in the tail end, and I'm getting a better ride, which is pretty amazing. I'm getting a better ride to the Ford dealer yes. to get service, you know? <laughs> 
uh, yeah, you guys, it, I mean, here, I'm going to, if you guys are looking at buying trucks right now, yes, I would look at Chevys. I kind of looked at Rams. I would never get a Ram. I would never get a Chevy. I just don't like the inside of the Chevys. Maybe if they change the inside to look more modern. Um, I don't know what it is about Ford. Yes, every Ford we have keeps going to the dealer having problems, but all, all in all, I'm pretty, Ford's okay. I mean, I think it's disgusting, the price. I mean, this isn't even top of the line. This isn't even top of the line, and it was yeah. more money. It was, no, it was exactly the same money as my 2018 F1 Limited was new. It's nice looking, you know? It's yeah. a real nice looking truck. And you guys, I was going to get a 2021 F-150, but literally, it was 20, a loaded one was 20 grand more than this. And this was just on the lot. I actually ordered one, but then I just couldn't wait. And this one was on the lot. And it's got the 7.3 Godzilla engine. We're going to put a Borla exhaust on it. I'm going to put a suspension. That's going to sound nice. Yeah. Suspension. We're going to do the uh, running boards that I go I will up. be jealous when you have that. I used to have that on my old truck, and I loved oh, it. Oh, dude, I can't yeah. wait. That's the thing I love about this truck, because I've had EcoBoost for so long. I've had, like, five EcoBoosts. Dude, you turn this on, the whole truck shakes. Yeah. Well, that's just because it's a Ford, yeah, not the engine. Yeah, that's just because of the Ford. But, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Comment below. It's called the deck system. Um, I'm definitely a proponent of it. Like I said, this is the third deck that I've got. And it's just, uh, it's a great system, man. It's a great system. You know, it might not be for you, but it could be for you. As far as all truck storage goes, I think that it's in the top 90% of, you know, the one that you should be looking at to pick. Yes, there is a couple other brands out there that have them, but they just don't seem to have their act together like Deck does, right? Deck is just, it's just an easy system. It's just, it's it been works. proven. Yeah, it works. And Hunter, whatever you use your truck for, it's probably good. You know, unless if you just need a pickup truck and you don't want to carry too much stuff around. No, but and you know what? It's always nice. Like I tell you, like I don't have anything in the back of my truck and there's certain times I wish I had something because I got to take it out of the back and put it in the actual inside of the truck because I'm running into the store or something like right. that. It's nice to have, you know, or same thing with me. Like I can't have really tools that I stay overnight because my kids are always in the back. You know what I mean? So. Right, right. It's like my hitch, dude. I always want to carry a hitch around, right? But it's like my only option is if I didn't have this would be in the back seat underneath. Dude, if you get into an accident or you roll or something, yeah. you got a 50 pound, 50 pound piece lying around. I mean, look at that. Yeah. That thing weighs 50 pounds. Yeah. You know? I mean, that thing weighs 50 pounds. And now it's tucked away in here. Boom, I get a flat. I have to fix something. I got a trailer problem. I'm done. I got straps in here. Yeah, granted, I have chains and stuff on the trailer itself also. But you just never know. You're out somewhere. Yeah, man. you might not be. You got to help yeah. somebody. You know, you just never know. So that's it, you guys. Peace out. Don't forget to go to our Instagram. Don't forget to go to all that cool stuff. And uh, make sure you follow us. Peace. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.